go check out and see how everything's going. Guys, how's it going? Okay, okay, a poison pet. Okay, so we got into something now. Huh? Alright, I'll be right back there. Failing, you okay? Fa Miss Lewis. What? You, you okay? Yeah. What's going on? You're kind of sleeping out in your parking lot. Oh crap! Did I fall asleep? Yeah, I, I guess you did. Oh jeez, must be more tired than I thought. I I guess so. Why are you sleeping in your parking lot? We have a bed. Uh, I didn't mean to. Came out to Aren't get you... a break. Would you like me to take you home? Uh, I still got the poison pet that I need to take care 116 of. One sixteen to a medical. It's just gonna be Miss Lewis. She fell asleep in her parking lot. Everything's okay here. Do you really think you're in a you're in a you should probably call Miguel and maybe have him and Skyler come up and work on that because I don't think you're in shape That's to be doing any kind of surgery. I'm, um, here with 110 as well. Let me turn that spotlight off. You're not going to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly hope not. Yeah, I mean, I mean this, you know, things happen. I was actually a little concerned this time because you were just laying up against the wall. <laughs> I was 
Yeah, it was not, a little different. Not usually like you, I yeah. I just came out to get a breather after five hours of working on a pet that a guy brought in. A dog a guy brought in. Dog got into something, he uh, brought it in. Interesting. Where was, uh, you know where that was up at? I don't really exactly know where he lives, but I do know okay. his name and his dog's name. Name and his dog's name. Yeah, I just like figured a... if he lived in the township, he could Yeah, he go lived, ask right, him he lived somewhere in town here. Okay. You remember his name then? I've got it on my clipboard here. Um, it's like a Daniel Huckabee. You heard of him, Devin? Huh? Daniel Huckabee? Daniel yeah, I've heard of him. Huckabee. Oh. Yeah, he and lives down the road here. Some poison. Was it the poison? Was it the freaking? Um, insecticide yeah, on the like other side of the. Bait. Yeah. All right. I gotta go talk to Miss Cats. Yep. Is something gone? Do what? Did something happen? Well, no. It's just that. Um. So there's this. Remember the. Remember old lady Miss Cats that I told you about? Yeah. Let me help you up. Yeah. Uh, I, I told you she's lived here forever. She was old when I was young. You know. Yeah. Um. Well, she, uh, she, um, called about a barking dog a couple weeks back and, uh, told us that, um, you know, the dog was barking, but he got loose, got into her yard, uh, tore some shit up, whatever. Yeah. Uh, guy, Daniel Huckabee, the guy who owns the dog, he, um, you know, he, uh, you know, was like, oh, I'll pay for it, all that good stuff, whatever. But anyway, while we were out talking to her, um, I noticed there was a bunch of like insecticide and, and all that kind of shit um, out in her yard like in bags and stuff under a little pavilion where they were clearly getting ready to do some landscaping or something and I asked her to pick it up take it inside or I offered to take it because she's like I mean she's like 100 million years old <laughs> so I mean I, I think she was at the last supper so um, <laughs> I, uh, I I told her I'd do it because I was like, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll, I don't want a dog to get into this or something. Well, apparently, it never got done. She wouldn't let me do it. She said she'd do it. She'd get someone, well, the get... guys who were going to do the landscape and do it. And uh, I, just I guess they didn't because sound that sounds like the same kind of shit that was laying outside her house that I saw um, a couple weeks ago when Winters and I were out there. Huh. So thinking maybe she did it? I don't know that she did it. I don't think there's a crime per se. We could try to find out. But, um, I mean, we could go talk to her, but I don't know that she did it so much as I think she didn't put that shit away, which unfortunately isn't a crime. Yeah. Like, I can't, I mean, I can't arrest her for it if she didn't do it. If she just left that shit out there, it's her property. The dog shouldn't be on her property. If he got over the fence again, that's on, that's on Daniel, unfortunately. If she did it on purpose, that's different. Maybe I'll drive over there, see if Daniel's around. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, Chief? Not much. Maybe I'll drive over there and see if Daniel, see if the lead snapped again or something. Okay. That's what happened last time was the lead was broken. Yeah. That's how he got loose. I'll have to drive over there. It was just failing. She fell asleep out here after, like, five hours surgery on a dog. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I had heard. I figured I'd just come over and say hello since our introduction got interrupted before. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's let's try that again. Yeah. Trooper Matt Valentine, Chief Devin Lewis. Chief Devin Lewis, Trooper Matt Valentine. This is his lovely wife, Dr. Lewis. And this is Patrolman Wolf. I forget your first name. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah Wolf. Do you know Tabitha's first name, but not mine? Come on now. I, I <laughs> see Tabitha much more frequently. Yeah, than it's easy, man. Pleased to meet you, Chad. Pleased to meet you, <laughs> Chief. <laughs> A little far away for a handshake there, but you know. You shut your mouth. Yes, sir. <laughs>
You, know, you, you don't speak unless you're spoken to, Sarah. Uh, where have I'm I heard kidding. this before? <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, uh, it took well, me a minute. Delayed reaction. I got it. I'm going to drive over there and have a look. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't mind me walking in his yard. Well, I think he should be around. He said he's going to be... He okay, was... well, I'll... I'll give it a couple minutes to go knock on his door. Okay. So, anyway, you're coming with me. Okay. I'm placing you under a rest. Let's go. Oh, no. Uh, uh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on. A rest. You're going home and taking a nap. I texted Miguel and Skylar. Okay. <laughs> I got a gun All right, Mr. and Mrs. Lewis. Lewis. Hang on, hang on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There you go. Have a good See you later, buddy. I don't know who's starting my alleged, but he'll be there at some point. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. See ya. Jeez, I did not mean to fall asleep. Kill. I believe you. You usually don't mean to fall asleep in gutters. <laughs> I mean, you, you sit on fences and read books and get up on the roof sometimes, but you usually don't sleep in gutters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I texted Miguel. He said he's on his way up. Skyla's walking down there right now. I might stop and give her a ride real quick. Right. And then uh, I'll head over to Daniel's and see if he's around. Okay. We'll get your car back later. Yeah. Well, it's walking distance since I got a good nap. That's true. All right, go to bed. All right, thank you. All right, I'll see you later. Have a good night. Stay safe. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Little bit police. Anybody home? Up, oh, yeah, I'm home. What's up? Hey, Daniel, can you open the door for a minute? I'm in my backyard, right over here. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, I'm gonna have to get back with you, man. I'm getting dispatched to a call. Your dog is okay. Okay. Can you revise the address, please? Hey, Daniel, I'm sorry about that, buddy. All good. Um, I didn't want to worry or anything. Uh, your dog's okay. I just left from the clinic where Phelan works, and, uh, I mean, I, I, he's okay. But, um, I wanted to just talk to you for a minute. I wanted to ask you if it was okay if I had a look around your yard, um, at the tether and whatnot. Did he get, did he get loose again? No, um, you can, you can come Which look. bar are you at? But, yeah, um, yeah. You'd like to show me what's going on. Needed. Do you have any idea how he got into that snail stuff? Is that what it was? That's what Valen says she thinks it was. Some kind of snail's bait. Okay, cause um, I've I've had her in a crate all day, cause uh -huh. I've been working, and then uh -huh. I got home, let her out into the backyard while watching her to let her kind of get some energy out before bed. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she got to the corner. Actually, I could show you. Yeah. Right back behind this uh, little outdoor crate here. Yeah. She she was sniffing around in these bushes here, enjoying something. Yeah. And then it wasn't too long after it, she looked like she was starting to not feel good and she actually started throwing up over there and okay let me put some gloves on Let's see here 
here. Alright, let's see here. Huh. You had steak lately? No. I don't like to feed any kind of bones like that because the uh, they get a little too excited. Yeah. And they can well, this, choke on it. This looks very much like the bone off of a T-bone steak. I would know. I very much enjoy me some steak. Yeah. Um. Okay, you didn't... None of it would have been in your trash or anything like that? No. Okay. Alright, and you have no idea where, they, where, where your dog may have obtained this bone from? Uh-uh. I mean, I, the way she was going after that bush, I thought it was like a squirrel or something. Yeah. But, I mean, if there's a bone there, it must be. Can you show else. me? Can you show me where she throw up? Uh, where she threw up at? Yeah, um, right here. It hasn't rained or nothing, so let's see. Right there. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it looked really see weird. See here. Just looking around in there. You, uh... Yeah, there's some bit of meat in here. And what do you normally feed him? I'm sorry. Um, just some, like, canned food. I was told to take her off the, uh, dry food, so I started getting her some okay. different canned foods. So you usually get her wet food? Yeah. Okay. That don't look anything right. like that. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Let me get a camera. Okay. You had any conversation with your neighbors lately? No, actually, it's been kind of peaceful lately. Yeah? You haven't had any run-ins with Miss Katz? Not, not recently. Last time was when you were here. Okay. The other guy who I usually, like, have my dog run with, he hasn't been around for a while, so I'm, I was thinking he probably went on vacation or something. Yeah. Be right back. Do you have like a, a garden trowel or something you wouldn't mind me using? Uh, sure. I got a shovel. Something a little smaller would be better. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like a I trowel can... or a even okay, like a big I've... spoon or something. Needed. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got a little trowel in my uh place. Okay. Yeah. If you don't mind. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. Ugh. All right. Ugh. All right. Here's your. Probably take. I'll take this over to the hose and wash it off if you like. Okay, I, I can do it. I don't want to make you. I don't want to make you touch it. Okay. Your hose just around over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there it is. There we go. I think someone was trying All to right. get rid of her. 
Well, I mean, it's, it's not impossible. Um, ew, 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 I just touched myself with these gloves. <laughs> Mind if I throw these in your trash can? Yeah, go for it. Thanks. There we go. Um, I don't know, it's it, it, it's possible. I mean, it's strange. You know, snail's bait's kind of weird. I mean, snail's bait's not the most strange thing to have out around here, especially around this time of year. But, I mean, the presence of the T-bone being there, and yeah. the, uh... And, you know, I can see the meat in the vomit, and that meat did not look to me like any kind of canned food. Um, you yeah, know, the issue is, yeah, you know, the issue to me is, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you, man. I don't know that I can get the money. I don't know that I have the money, the funding to actually do any kind of lab test or anything on it for something. that. And I, I realize that this sounds insensitive, and I'm sorry, for something that would be ultimately viewed as kind of minor, you yeah. know? You know, cruelty to animal is a misdemeanor charge. I don't have a suspect. I have someone I suspect, but I don't have a suspect. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I'll do everything I can. Um, I don't know that this is going to go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, but I will do everything that I can, okay? Okay. So, um, if you see anything strange, uh, what I might suggest you do, quite honestly, is go down to U-Tool, buy yourself one of them little home security Wi-Fi cameras and just put it either right there under your eaves or right there, probably over there so the light there doesn't fuck with it, and just have it focused right on that back fence so that if anybody goes near that crate, you know, you'll be able to see them. You okay. can have it hooked up to your phone so you'll get any kind of, like, you know, you'll get any kind of, like, if it goes off, you can have it um, basically send you alerts to your phone and be motion activated so that it doesn't record all the time and take up any kind of, you know, memory. But most yeah. of them don't have a lot of memory. But um, where it's facing, it shouldn't pick up on motion anything but in your yard. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Okay. Um, all right, man. Well, like I said, I talked to Phelan earlier, and she said the dogs are going to be okay. And I know that Miguel and one of her other employees was over there finishing up on him. Um, and are on her, and I think she's gonna be okay. Okay, thank you. So sure. Uh, if you see anything, hear anything, notice anything out of the ordinary, anything, give me a call. Okay, here's my card. I think I gave you one before, but here's another. Yeah. I got I got hundreds of these things. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there you go. Um, if you have any questions or anything, you can give me a call. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, man. All right, buddy. Have a try to have a better rest of your night. I know Phelan will be in touch with you soon. Okay. Okay. All right, buddy. Stay safe. Yeah, I will. Thank you.